Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Anne Markey and I'm a Christian author and speaker and head behind the blog OneDeterminedLife.com. For the next couple of weeks as we get closer to Christmas, I just want to spend some time focusing on the Lord, bringing you short biblical devotion so that we can focus on Christ who's the real reason for the season. I think we can all agree that the last couple of years have been crazy. I'm turning 40 in my next birthday and I've never experienced years like this. I know older generations have also experienced a lot of crazy things, but I just feel like every time I turn on the news, it's just one thing after another, after another, after another. And these events aren't small. These are life-changing, historic changing moments that we are experiencing on a regular basis. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a break. But unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like that break is coming. The bad news just, just keeps piling on and on and on. And sometimes I can get caught up in the news cycle. And when I start focusing on all these bad stories, I start losing hope. My middle daughter is really struggling in school right now. She's coming home every day in tears and she's experiencing a lot of frustrations. And even though we're taking steps to help her, nothing has helped yet. So she's had a lot of breakdowns and sadness about this. And one night when I was tucking her in, she looks at me with tears in her eyes and she says, Mom, is this always going to be like this? And her tone of voice and the face she was making just broke my mama heart. I had to keep myself from crying because I could see that she had lost hope. As a mom, I wanted to tell her that everything was going to be okay, that things were going to change and that she can look forward to that. But I can't. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know if anything at school is going to change. I don't know if the steps we're taking is going to help her in the short run or the long run. So I can't make any promises, but I knew she wanted an answer. So when she asked me, I needed to think for a minute. Since I couldn't make any promises, instead of focusing on what was happening right then and what wasn't changing or even speculating about the future, I thought it'd be better if instead I helped her focus on the Lord. Lamentations 3.24 says this, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in Him. It's easy to look at the world and hope for a better future or hope that some leader is going to come around and change it all. But Lamentations 3.24 tells us that we shouldn't be putting our hope in the world. We should be putting our hope in the Lord. He's the only one that can give us true, sustainable hope. Romans 15, 13 says this, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. When we look to the world or something other than Christ to fill our hope, we will actually walk away more empty, feeling less hope. So it's really important that we know where our hope comes from and not only where it comes from, but that we go to that source on a regular basis so that it may fill us with hope. When we do that, we are filled with so much hope from the source. I'm not a fancy water person, but I've seen enough commercials to know that when they're trying to sell you water, they focus on where that water comes from. And if that source is closest to a mountain and fresh water, the better. Because they want you to know that you are getting clean water and that the source that this water has come from isn't contaminated. And it sort of seems like the more natural the source, the more expensive the water becomes. But as Christians, 
we have access to living water. And this is an eternal source that doesn't run out, that never has any contaminations, and it's everlasting. There is no better source. But just like we go to the supermarket and we choose what type of water we want to purchase, we have to actively choose what type of water we're going to drink. We as Christians also must choose to go and drink from the source, to pick where what we're consuming is coming from. And so we have two choices. We can fill ourselves with the things of the world, which are contaminated and really won't quench our thirst, or we can turn to the everlasting source to receive our true hope that is really gonna fill us with everything that we need. We don't need to earn our salvation, but we do need to be active in seeking out our relationship with the Lord. Because the Lord is there, He is with us, He is in us, He is around us, and He's waiting for us to come to Him and seek Him for hope. So if you're here today and you're losing a little bit of hope, or you'd like to feel some more hope, I encourage you just to spend a few minutes with the Lord today, regardless of what's happening in your life, with however bad the situation is, you can access true and living hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because hope isn't dependent on what's going on around us. It's dependent on the source of it, which is God himself. Because our hope isn't based on the world around us and what's happening, you know, the stock market going up or down, losing a job, getting sick or any of those other things, our hope is in the Lord. He never changes and he's already proved that he loves us and that he wants a relationship with us. So I hope today that you are clear as to where you can turn to for hope. And that is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I said, these devotional times are gonna be a little bit short, but I hope it's been encouraging to you. And I'd love to know from you in the comments how the Lord has given you hope um, so that we can encourage one another. And I would just like to end our time in prayer. Lord God and Heavenly Father, I know that this world is crazy. And when we turn on the news or we listen to some of the things our friends say, it's really easy to lose hope. But I just pray that for myself and anybody who's listening, that we would remember that hope isn't in the world and that it's in you. So help us to come to you on a regular basis and to depend on you for true and living and sustainable hope. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye.